Welcome back to another video. Today we are taking down the Team Rocket hideout so we can get the Stealth Co and finally go back to Lavender Town and get through that whole mess. What, would, what did we have to do again in Lavender Town? The Pokemon Tower where... Alright, we're trying to reunite the Cubone with his mother which passed away which is really, really good time. I was kinda hoping there would have been a poison type he sent out so we could just one shot it. Let's see if this one shots and no. But at the very least it paralyzed it, so not too bad. Are you serious? Ugh this hate moves like that. Whatever, this is why we have our recovery move. <laughs> Ironic. Team Rocket uh, member says blast. Get it? Blast. Team Rocket. Rockets. Blast off. Ah, pun. Just, just gotta love pun. Oh, it's not over here then. Okay, he asked me who I am and where did I come from, and there's obviously only one entrance to this place, so you can guess where I came from. And he has to have three Pokemon, they better all be poison types, so he can just one shot them all. That's what I'm talking about. You know what, Eevee is completely overpowered in this game. I don't know how the Pikachu version goes and how strong Pikachu is, but Eevee is pretty powerful. The fact that you actually get those kind of secondary abilities from all the new moves, that's just... that's pretty OP. And this is my fourth member. Went back and got myself a Charmander. I chained up to 188 trying to get a pretty good IV and Adamant Nature one since I didn't feel like going all the way to South Down City to get that uh, judge and then do it. Besides, I figured since I'm going to be there for a while, I might as well try to get a shiny. I never did, but I did actually get out of the 188, I managed to get a Charmander with 5 perfect IVs without um, lacking only an attack and it's a Timid Nature. It's not this one, but I have that in the, the Poke Box, just in case I decide to ever get a, a special Charizard, train one up. This Charizard, on the other hand, is a perfect 4 IV, and it's adamant nature. I think the only one that was lacking was an HP, but it had a fantastic that so wasn't too bad, and then in special attack, which we don't care anyway. Actually, yeah, let's not talk to her. I don't feel like doing pointless battles. You tell me what nerf to me? Like, what nerf to you that I have to be going through all this hassle just to get one item so I have to go all the way back to Lavender Town, then to the Pokemon Tower, and then finally move on? People are wasting my time. Are you serious? I really lived on that hell. I better get paralyzed. Thank you. So what's it with this one? Like? I haven't used this one yet. Ah! 
See, that's just... Uh, I love these abilities. They're pretty cool. I'm thinking I'm going to have Eevee learn whatever the fairy move is. Keep the psychic one. Uh, what else do I want to have it keep? I might have it keep that dark type move. And then maybe the water move just for healing. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. So I'm thinking I want it to have the fairy move so that it's good against dragons and biting types. And then... and dark types. I think that we do dark as well. Wait. Oh wait, it doesn't even matter in this game. They don't have dark types. Oh, uh, not counting the Alolan versions. But anyways, fairy for dragon. The psychic wants to deal with poison types, fighting types. Uh, the dark type was just for ghosts and sci other psychic types, like this one. And the water just to heal. I might just do that. I really like that the dark move and the second move give you uh, their, what was it? Reflect and... I don't even know. Well, strong against physical and special moves. I remember where to go for this puzzle, but first I want to get that item. Oh, I gotta get some cash for that one. I was struggling to find ways of making money in this game because I was going through so many Pokeballs and Great Balls and Lures. And I, if you haven't figured it out, well, there's, there's probably a better method by now that I haven't figured out, but what I notice is if you go through the underground tunnel from Salazon City to Vermilion City, Eevee, when it starts wagging its tail, it picks up on items on the ground, and most of them tend to be nuggets and pearls and stardust, and you can just sell them later, and it makes a pretty a decent amount of money. I was able to get about 25000 just from going once through there. I got pretty lucky. Doesn't always give you a lot, but I got a lot of nuggets and uh, stardust from there. Alright, who has my key? I know I need to get to that elevator. Nope, we gotta get this first. Is this it? <sighs> nope, just a hyper potion. Awesome, great. Whatever. We might as well try to talk to these people. Maybe one of them hasn't. Showing this, shoving that psychic force right at the enemy. my key at though. Ugh, well that was a waste. What about you? Do you have my key? What I hope to achieve is that I get the silk coal so I can go deal with Lavender Town. So you better have my key. A bolt. Surprised by that. I'm expecting a poison type.
Oh, I better not self-destruct. Oh, I didn't even think about that just till now. I, uh, I gotta say, the only thing I can't stand in Pokemon games is getting a status effect. And uh, Sun and Moon, it wasn't so bad because you could just get rid of it after the battle, but obviously you can't do that in this game. I have to just use a Paralyze Sail if I even have any. So no key apparently. Please tell me I have one. Yes, there we go. Give me my key. Oh great, we came all the way over here for nothing. Now we're gonna have to go somewhere else and find the key and then come all the way back here again. <sighs> Off we go again. I think there's an item over here. Maybe I missed it. Maybe it's just in a Pokeball. I hope so, otherwise we're really just wasting too much time here. If I remember right, the other game that has these kind of puzzles was Gold and Silver. And I think in that one, the, the whole puzzle or the whole hideout or whatever is even longer than this one. And really, you'd think Team Rocket would have learned after what happened the first time around that their hideouts just suck. They don't know what they're doing. Okay, apparently we went the wrong way. Great. Awesome. Nice. Alright, let's go downstairs. I hope it's not a lot more to that key. I want to get this over with already. Uh, I don't think that then I don't feel like doing another pointless battle. But we will take this one. I don't think a single one of my Pokemon has ever fainted. Unless I'm remembering wrong, but I don't think any of any of them has fainted at all. Is this it? No. Well, I'm starting to think that it's, I, I really thought it wasn't a Pokeball, but maybe it's just in, maybe one of them really does have it. Hope he has only one Pokemon so we can get through this quick. Big blue.
I mean, in all honesty, I didn't even need to bring out Nidoking. I could have just finished it off with Eevee, but I haven't used Nidoking in a while, so here we are. Now, I probably should have just used Thrash. I'm pretty sure I would have one-shot it. I don't know why I thought that was a master ball for a sec. Okay, that has to be my key. <laughs> so you've been guarding the key this whole time with just one Pokemon. Wow. Well, nice and easier for us, we can just get through you, and then finally go through that elevator. <laughs> finally, now we can finally go through that door. I mean, the elevator, whatever. At this point, I don't even care. Let's just go through something so we can get to the boss fight. Wait, what? What do- wait, huh? Are you serious? <laughs> wow. Now that's- that's some petty level there. I can totally relate to that. I think that's something I would definitely do. <laughs> Actually, no, forget that. I wouldn't have thrown it. I would have just kept it and ran. Okay, now so how do I get up there now? Can I go through the vent? Uh, how about the boxes? Okay. How about this box? Fine, how about the chair? Wait. Am I gonna get to control Eevee? Or is Eevee just gonna go get it? <gasps> no way, I actually get to control Eevee? Okay. The fact that I can control Eevee means we're that much closer to a um, core game where when you send out the Pokemon, you actually get to battle and control the moves. You're seeing it live, people. We're actually, well, not live, but you're seeing it here. We're getting that much closer to that kind of Pokemon game. Now, I don't want to even hear the developers say they can't do it because they're already making progress towards that. Although, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I definitely like the way the game is where you pick a move and then it does the standard RPG. Um, turns but I can't say I would I would hate to have full control of the Pokemon using the moves. I mean they have like what was it like what's that game called? Uh whatever that fighting Pokemon game that came out. They can obviously do it in some way. I don't know. I'm thinking by generation ten we might see it. But please can we see it before I die? If they finally release it and I'm already like on my deathbed, I'm gonna be really, really mad. Mad to the point where I'll probably just come back as a ghost and then like take over someone so I can enjoy it before I'm finally passing on. Why did I go the first one? It should have been the fourth. 
definitely don't want to have to fight this person. Master Ball. No idea why I thought it would be a Master Ball, but whatever, it was. <sighs> Let's get through Team Rocket once again. And is Meowth actually gonna fight this time, or are we just gonna stick to him staying on the sidelines like always? That's what you get for trying to team up on my Charizard. Uh, but I just realized, if Charizard doesn't one-shot Arbok, it's going to use Blair on us next turn. And, yeah. Pretty sure it's going to use Blair. At the very least, Weezing is out of the picture. Again. Well, at least I know I do have some paralyzed heals. Alright, that's the end of that. Now we can probably take on Giovanni and be done with this place. Evie just said, what's up? Damn, Evie's a little thug. She was ready to throw down already. <laughs> I like the face she made. Oh damn, that's Archer? What? Look at him. Definitely looks like he works for the Mafia. Well, you better be coming at me with three Pokemon if you expect to have a chance, which you still won't, but... Okay, you can put two, whatever.
no idea if the crit mattered. Either way, grateful for it. At least we recovered a lot of HP for that. Or don't. There we go. Now we can finally take on Giovanni. I'm thinking he's going to have three Pokemon at least. Because if this one had two, the other one should definitely have three. And again, I'm trying to get through this um, so I can go to Lavender Town. So, you know what? Never mind. Just have one Pokemon. Just have your Persian. Wait. Don't tell me I don't have an antidote. Ugh, let's just... Let's just use a Super Potion. Wait, what is that thing, though? Oh, perfect. Don't remember where I got that from, but there we go. Now let's do this. <laughs> you say that, but yet all your um, members don't even have more than one or two. Except for that one guy, he had three. Seriously, only have two Pokemon. The very first guy that we own after the we got to hell had three Pokemon. Yet yeah, you're admin and you only have two. That makes sense. You know what? Let's use the EV special move for this. Oh, please don't tell me that's gonna cancel it. Wow. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Next time I fight that thing, I'm not gonna start off with the special. Shot this with loads of bouncy bubble. Bam! Finished him off, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna heal us to full. We did it! After how long have you been at this? Almost 30 minutes? After 30 minutes, we finally did it. We finally got through the hideout and we're getting the stuff to so we can finally go back to Lavender Town. Once we're done with Lavender Town, then we'll be back to Celadon City to take on the fourth gym. <laughs> the stuff code is a pair of goggles. I'm mean, binoculars, I'm not saying.
All right, we finally did it. So now we're heading to Lavender Town in the next video. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.